You know, growing up in New York had a profound effect on what I do today. I think like most kids, you know, who grew up in a neighborhood in New York City, I grew up in Jackson Heights, Queens, and most of that time was spent just being outdoors and being outside on the street, in the street, really sort of influenced how I was able to see the world. And then, you know, like that's really where I get most of my inspiration from, is just from real people. And simultaneously, you know, hip hop sort of was a magnified culture that seemed to really speak to everything that I was seeing. And then that was a really important thing when I was growing up was, you know, being original and being authentic and having your own style and having that speak to who you were as a person. So I think the music really led me into fashion, just stylistically and aesthetically, everything about it. To, you know, where I am today, that those uh, memories and experiences still really affect what I do on a personal level and also on a professional level. I don't think, you know, it was a conscious decision of knowing when I became a hero and stopped sort of admiring or looking up to heroes. I think that you continue to find out how influential people have played a part in your life and you never really stop doing that. You know, like, it takes some time to be able to reflect back on a period of time or, you know, experience that you have with a person, you know, where you really are in a place to be able to recognize how much of an impact someone had. You know, like my dad, when growing up was, you know, I would never look at him as a hero, you know, but it took me becoming a father to, you know, be able to reflect back on that and see sort of the sacrifice and the dedication that he made and, and also the lessons, you know, that, that he's given me indirectly, you know, so, Anytime that you create something, you know, it's a really personal experience, right? You're always worried about well, what other people think and how other people take it. And, but if you focus more about how is this, you know, really true to who I am and honest to my experiences and, you know, my upbringing and heritage and your community, then I think you'll always win because you will be an honest extension of who you really are. And that's not to say that you can't grow or evolve and have new thoughts and new ideas, but if you stay true and really project uh, a true image of yourself, the world will be a better place.